Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. After you've entered or edited text or made any changes to a document that you want to keep, you should save the document. When you save a document for the first time, you must use the Save As dialog box. In this dialog box, you will need to give WordPad a location to which the document will be saved and a file name. Give it a name that you will remember and be sure to remember where you saved it. This later step is much more crucial. Often people remember what they call the file but can't remember which folder they put it in. You can bring up the Save As dialog box by clicking the Save button from the toolbar or clicking on File from the menu bar and coming to Save As. Here I'll click on my desktop and down in the file name I will save this as our test file. Now my document is named and saved and every time I now hit the save icon it will save it as the word test onto my desktop. Something to note about file names they can be up to 255 characters in length but should probably be shorter and more descriptive. You cannot use symbols in the file name such as the period, the colon, the semicolon, the front slash, the backslash, the greater than or less than sign, the asterisk, the quotation marks, or the pipe. If you want to save your document to a floppy disk, you will need to find the A drive from the Save In drop-down disk and then type in your file name. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.